uh, first types of problems we did in 6-1. If you guys remember, the main important thing you guys need to remember for this chapter is when simplifying radical expressions, you have the nth root of a to the n equals a. So it doesn't matter if it's a square root, cube root, fourth root. All we want to do is get our um, expressions to be raised to that same power, and we can simplify them. Well, unfortunately, 18, I cannot rewrite. Now remember, if there's no number there, we assume that it's 2, right? We can assume that it's 2. So uh, the problem with this one is when you guys go and take a look at this, I cannot write 18 or a number raised to the power 2 that gives me 18. However, there is square numbers, right? Square numbers are numbers you can square, right? So numbers you can raise to the power 2. There is square numbers that divide into 18. And I can rewrite this as 9 times k squared times k squared times k squared. And in reality, I can rewrite that as 3 squared. Oops, I'm sorry. I forgot that. That's times 2, right? Let me rewrite it like this. I'm kind of doing this a little bit slowly again, just to kind of remind you guys I will start doing these much quicker, though. But does everybody kind of see how this is still 18kx? Yes? And then in reality, I could rewrite 9 as 3 squared. So rather than having to rewrite the whole thing, I could just rewrite that as 3 squared. Then going using my identity rule, what it states is when you take the cube root, or I'm sorry, when you take the square root of a number squared, you just get that number a, or in this case, would be 3. 2 is not squared, so I have to leave that under the radical. Case, um, square root of k squared is k. Square root excuse me, of k squared is k. Square root of k squared is k. Then I have square root of 2. k times k times k is k cubed, which would be my final answer. You could also, instead of using the product rule, I prefer to rewrite it like this, which we'd call using the power rule. Because would you guys agree that k cubed squared is the same thing as k to the sixth? Yes? Yes? Would you guys agree with that? That way you can write it much quicker using that method rather than going through there. But this still works. That would be your finalized answer. Does anybody want me to go over another one? Or you guys feel good? You want to get into multiplying? Yeah. 